Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soha Om Tare Tu Tare Tu Re Soha I'm going to introduce you the meditation what I was taught in and brought in. Our good friend, late Ellen Ginsberg, used to say, sit on the ground, the ground is not there, sit on the chair. So that's how we began. And I take good breath, in and out, relax man now. And uh, the whole idea of a breath taking in and out is simply getting little relaxation to our mind. So the busy New York date and rush it, everything will need this little relaxation in your mind. And when you look straight, normally meditation instructors tell you close your eyes, and I'm also trying to close my eyes, but it is the true instructions will say completely do not close, just slightly looking. Anyway, space in front of you, in that open spacious space, in front of you, suddenly appeared a lotus for cushion. And above the lotus, love, compassion in natural, but in physical form of a moon disk. In other words, lotus cushion, Above that, you have a moon cushion. Above that sits the great mother Tara, white in color, sitting in the lotus posture. Her right hand is reaching out to all of us, and especially those of us who have a lot of sufferings and who thinks, I can't help it, I'm helpless. And she invites them with a stretching her hand out, saying, come in, join with me. I will give you a protection. So the left hand holding um, the sort of a posture of the three fingers up, those three, in the Buddhist tradition, represents Buddha, Dharma, and the Sangha, which is object of refuge. So she tells us, join with me, I will protect you. She also has seven eyes. including third eye and the hands and the legs have a one eye each. And especially looking at me, that means each and every individual practitioner sharing her compassion, expressing her caring, love, 
and uh, completely going out of her way, whatever she could help. And uh, that is your Tara. Is this your Tara? As you create it through your own visualization, and it is yours and yours alone. And it is there for you always, whenever you need her, whenever you need to seek help. And uh, protection, all of those. And the white data is also sort of one of the specialization of hers is healing. That also both mental and physical healing. There are a number of ways of working with white data for healing. There's a lot of them, and many of them have already I mentioned in that Tara Boss booklet. But what I'd like to share with you is the physical healings that one does with, can do with Tara, and that is um, whatever our physical sufferings and pains, and to relieve and uh, to heal that. And the way and how we do is we utilize Tara's energy dealing with four elements. The earth element, the water element, the fire element and um, the air element. That is A-I-R, air element. First is the earth element. Our physical body is really nothing more than those elements. Our bones and the flesh and all of those are the earth element. The liquid in our body are the water element. The heat and digestive power, all of those are the fire element. circulation, and all of those are air element. So when our elements are leveled well, we call it physically very, very well. When that goes up and down, we do have a physical problems, as we all know clearly today. So where and how we heal our elements are, we asked help and the support from our Tara your own Tara, my own Tara, through a, a meditational contact. There are detailed way of meditations. Some of them you'll find um, in that little booklet. But uh, even you don't have a detail, but simply today I would like to guide to you, guide you, 
is from the bottom of our own heart approaching Tara to help me, to heal me and all other sentient beings. So by making that a request, light goes from the heart of our Tara, from the body, heart, everywhere, radiate light throughout, everywhere. Tremendous amount reach to the all the Mother Earth of all universe, multi-galaxy universe, the energies of the earth are collected by this light that went from the body of the Tara in the form of golden orange light. and dissolves to our body, especially if we have physical problem in specific spot, you can focus there. Body, all body in general, and particularly wherever there are physical uh, problems, more focus on that. And I think it is rejuvenated. Believe it, for a short while at least. That is the healing of earth element, connecting our earth element with the general earth element and the healing them. Likewise, second water element. And that also, by making strong requests to Tara and from the Tara's body, tremendous amount of milk look like white light goes out, reaches to all the sources of great water. And the essence and the energy of the water are collected in the form of a nectar. Look like milk and a tremendous of them, and are dissolved through Tara. From the Tara's body, you can dissolve to yourself. And thus rejuvenating the liquid in our body. Third one will be the heat, that is the fire element. Similar requests to Tara. Tara sends light out from the body, and this time it is the fire color, that's um, bright red color, not a dark, but a light light red color reaches to the great sources of a fire, fire that destroys whole universe at the end of all exist, etc. From there, all the energies of the fire in the form of reddish orange look like light dissolves to the body of Tara 
and from the Tara's body. Same color, light, and uh, reach to our body and dissolved and uh, rejuvenate all the fire element within our body. The last one here is the air, that is our circulation and the movement and all of those. And also the air is the basis of everything too. So this time we make a request to the Tara very strongly and Tara sends green light from her body and reaches and collects the necessary essence of air and collects to her body and in turn she sends green light to us. In reality, it is the energy of air in the form of a green light and that dissolves and our circulation, our movement, all of those are completely rejuvenated. And um, this is the <clears throat> basically meditation you can do. But all these meditations are fine. But the key to work this meditation is in addition to the visualization, you need mantra. Mantra is, in essence, it is a yidam or enlightened being itself divine being itself in sound form. Mantara is also known as a protection of a mind. And Antara has her own mantra. If you have the transmission of the mantra, and if you say the mantra, that will be more helpful than you simply saying the mantra. So I have um, included this transmission of a Tara mantra in this part of Tara blessing ceremony because it is a very important thing. Before I give you the <clears throat> transmission, I like to explain the mantra. Actually, I like to introduce the mantra. That is, Om Tare Tutare Ture Soha. Om is actually a combination of three syllables. That is A as a live of all sound, and M as, um, as um, sort of um, natural reality or wisdom of aspects of mantra. And all, sort of third, these three syllables represent body, mind, and the speech of the deity, or in this case, I should say, of the divine being, and ourself, 
our own individual body, mind, and speech. So that is how the mantra begins with the Om. Om itself indicates union. The union of the divine body, mind, speech, and the union of our body, mind, speech. And tare, tudare, ture, ture, that actually meant, means for noble truth of Buddha's teaching. As you all know, the most important Buddha's teaching is the Four Noble Truth, based on his own personal experience and development. Truth of suffering, truth of cause of suffering, truth of the, how to get out of the suffering, which we call it part, and the truth of cessation, what is, how do you get there? and then what happens when you are there. So these are the basic the, uh, Buddha's main teaching. So Tara's mantra, Tare, Tudare, Ture, these four represents this, not only represents, it really explains, if I have time I could have, but it's really it is. And that's one of the reasons why are called Tara, known as Tara, and because a liberator, liberating from the suffering and the cost of the suffering, is establishing is in the peace, harmony, joy, and the cause of it. So when you say Om Dare Tu Dare Tu Dare Soa, you are actually being able to meditate for noble truth because of the essence of that is the real essence of this mantra. The last two words, soha, means right now, although we think of a union with the perfect divine beings, but not yet. So therefore, we lay, we like to have the foundation of the pure body, mind, speech of a divine being established within our body, mind, speech. That is the word soha stand for. So om dare, tu dare, tu dare, soha. And as, as I said, you can use, people can use the mantra. Combination with the meditation that I shared earlier. You can use that. And I'd like to now give you the mantra transmission, offer you the mantra transmission. The transmission here is the traditional Tibetan Buddhist way is you hear the sound from a living being who also received this transformation before. And so I've been fortunate enough to be able to born in that land at that time. So received this actual masters who are actually living, true living Tara. So I'm sort of, I'm fortunate to be able to share that with you. And uh, here the transmission is, I'm going to say the mantra three times. Uh, just by hearing is enough. And if you want to think it, visualize, you are actually hearing from living Tara, that's also fine. Um, so, with this, um, do kindly pay attention to this mantra. Om Tare Tudare Ture Soha. 
ओम तारे तुदारे तुरे सोहा ओम तारे तुदारे तुरे सोहा This three times repeating Tara Mantara from living person to to a living person is the transmission of the mantra. Since you receive the mantra transmission, and to chant the mantra is also so very helpful. So. I requested Chris um, to come up and uh, lead the Tara Mantra chanting, and uh, all of us could chant it together. Don't sing. You go home, morning, evening, or sometimes when you have uh, some emergency situation, Om Dare Tu Dare Tu Re Soha will be great help to you. As I said, it is on the basis of not only the historical facts but also personal experience. And also to have a reliable, your own friend, your own Tara, your own Tara mantra, a tremendous comforting, and it works. And not only whatever I mentioned earlier, there are a number of other activities through Tara. For example, if you want to pray and do a healing for a friend or for someone that you specifically, in general, in the Buddhist, what the Buddha says is everything to be done for the benefit of all living beings. But when specifically, when we have to do something, after all, we are not fully enlightened yet. So we do have, you know, uh, something, especially we have to do something. So every time, whenever you have to do healing for any individuals, you can focus the person in front of you or with you, along with the Tara, and uh, visualize it. Thank you.
Touch me.